Well, there we go, 33 pounds, 12 ounces. It fought like an absolute Trojan. What a carp. And now what I'm gonna show you is a bit of mainline trickery. I promise you some mainline trickery and here it is. These are what I call steamies and the very first time I showed anyone how to do them was in my book, Carp Fishing Masterclass. Now for all intents and purposes, they're a boily, but the actual process of making them is totally different. So let me talk you through it. Now, one of the major ingredients in these ones that I've done here is the cell base mix. Now this needs no introduction. You only have to look at the album of carp that Team Corder have caught over the last few years. You could probably fill a Chinese phone book with them. But the cell base mix, formidable. Now here's a little twist on what I'm gonna do. I've got the activator liquid here. Now the activate activator is normally used with the activate base mix. However, Steve Morgan and Kev Knight and Mainline have put me onto a little bit of trickery here and that's to use it with the cell base mix. So you've got the legendary performance of the cell base mix coupled with the awesome activator that has been catching carp now for almost 20 years. It's formidable. So now onto the actual process of producing it and making them. The first thing you do is crack eight eggs into a bowl, whisk them up. The next thing, you've got to add the actual activator liquid. So what you want is 15 mil to each four eggs, okay? So you put 30 mil with your eight eggs. Whisk that up, that should make you about a kilo of bait. You need medium sized eggs as well, that's worth pointing out. So whisk them all together and then slowly start adding the cell base mix. Now what you're trying to create there is a nice firm paste but it's still slightly sticky to the touch. That, you know, you don't want it to be too hard, that'll all start crumbling, and you don't want it to be too soft that it'll be sort of too pasty, if you like. So once you've done that, make sure it's nice and firm, open the bits up, take any sort of dust around the bowl, and it should be a lovely paste for you at that point. Now, the next thing you need to do is steal some cling film from the mum or your missus, put that to one side and take your big ball of paste and pull off nice big chunks, and you wanna form these into pretty big sausages, okay? Probably 30 to 40 mil wide. Chop them up so they sort of fit the saucepan nicely. Get the water on the boil, okay? Make sure it's proper boiling up. Now, put them sausages into the cling film, okay? Each one in an individual wrap of it. Make sure you've got two or three layers of cling film around it. So roll them into it, twist the end, fold the ends over the top and make sure they're sort of stuck to the outside of the cling film and then they're ready to go in the water. Now what you're going to do is you're actually going to steam these for 12 to 16 minutes depending on the diameter of your sausages, okay? I've steamed these ones for 14 minutes and as you can see there I've still got probably a little bit of paste-like consistency on the inside but on the outside they're lovely and firm. Now what you're actually achieving with this is you're locking all the attraction of that brilliant activator liquid and the cell base mix inside. If you boil normal boilies, what you get, the water colours up very quickly, and that's actually some of the goodness in the bait being flushed out and into the water that you end up throwing in the sink. This way, you trap it all inside, and in with all intents and purposes, it's almost like paste, but harder, okay? Once you've done that, once they're boiled, unwrap them from the cling film, put them on a chopping board, and this is the beauty of it. You can make them any size you want. And carp aren't used to this. Look, these are cubes, they're all different sizes, different shapes, and that's gonna cause the carp lots of problems. So if you're using them on a small lake, fishing them in the margins, or here on Gigantica, you could even drop them out by the boat. You're giving the carp something totally different, and they're not used to it, and you've got all that attraction and smell inside them. It's not just with the liquids and the ingredients that I've used, you can use it with all the other legendary ones from the mainline stable. Take the new Grange and the new Grange activator, again an awesome bait, we're catching carp at Gigantic, it's catching carp all over England and you can do the same thing with these. And how about this, the legendary activate coupled with the activator liquid that we've got in there, that has caught carp for so long, can't even remember, it's an awesome bait and again, it lends itself beautifully to something like this. And if you're just cell fanatics and you want to do the actual cell, then you've got the cell base mix once again and the cell activator. They'll all work brilliantly. And this is lovely. You could fish one of these on the hair and a little pouch load of these catapulted around the top. Like I said, they're perfect for margin fishing, perfect for use out of the boat and perfect for catapulting at short range. In my opinion, this is an awesome edge that you can all introduce into your fishing.
Well, there we go, a lovely 32 pound Gigantica mirror taken on the mainline cell once again. They absolutely adore the bait in here, so much so that this was part of a double take. A lovely mirror also in the sling. So, I'm gonna get this baby back and the plan is coming together very nicely indeed.